Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Happy Halloween. It is officially October 1st as we are filming this today, so I'm very excited to be able to celebrate spooky season. I have brought my spooky tree in and set it on my desk. Um, I'm probably going to migrate it back and forth between my desk and my room because I really like where it sits in my room and it makes me feel all Halloween-y, but um, I really bought it with the intention of it being on my desk. So this is my spooky tree. It'll be with me. This is my pumpkin hat. It will be with me instead of my devil horns because um, the devil horns are just year round and uh, it's spooky season. Um, today we're gonna do a video. It is a first impressions video. It is one I'm very very excited about. Um, I was very very well behaved during 21 days of beauty. I only put in two orders. I think the most I spent on one of those was like maybe close to $100, not quite. And um, so total I only spent like $150 during 21 days of beauty. Well then after 21 days of beauty a whole bunch of new things released and Ulta started doing a bunch of like really nice free gifts and they did stuff on sale. So now I've spent $600 in a week at Ulta, so oops. But one of the things that I picked up was the brand new Naked Urban, Naked from Urban Decay Honey palette. And the Naked collection from Urban Decay has been one of my all time favorites. I think the very first nice palette I ever got was a present from one of my roommates in college and it was the Naked 2. Um, and then I've also, now of course, I've accumulated the whole collection and I've added a lot more other nice palettes to my collection as well. But um, there's a kind of a special place in my heart for this particular line just because it was one of the first name brand palettes that I ever integrated into my makeup collection. So that being said, I'm extremely excited to test this out. I've really liked the color schemes they've done with the past Naked palettes. The Naked Cherry was like a red one that I really liked. Um, of course, there was Naked Fire. And so Naked Honey is this really pretty yellowy, goldy, um, light brown collection. That's what it looks like. This is the box. Of course, there is something just incredibly sleek and um, satisfying about the packaging that they manage to do every time for this collection. And I wanted to go ahead and do a review of it really quickly so that you guys can get a first impressions of it quickly if you're considering buying it. Um, I know it just kind of released to the market. I just got mine in the mail yesterday, so I'm really excited to test it out and see. Um, but I think it's going to probably make its way to my fall favorites list. Um, after I get all the products that I ordered and kind of give it a chance to test those, I will do a fall favorites video for you guys because I know people have requested it. So now that I've babbled a whole bunch about the line itself and about getting this product, let's go ahead and jump into a quick eye look with it so that you guys can see how it works and we can get a feel for how the palette quality is all together. So the first color that I'm going to go in with is Drip. It's this kind of nice, um, there's like a pinky tone to this brown, um, but I think it'll make like a nice, good outer yeah that's a pretty outer blending color and i just i love this collection mainly because every palette even though they infiltrate different color schemes and things like that it's just a very neutral palette each time which is of course the idea behind the naked it was supposed to be these neutral pretty blending shades and um pretty ways to create like you know nice subtle eye looks that have just a flare of color and um, I think what I always think about personally when I'm purchasing a palette is I know I'll use pretty much anything that I receive uh, as long as it's a quality palette and the colors are workable and they blend well then I will happily use anything I'm up to the challenge I'll try it and I look even you know colors that I don't normally gravitate towards like the blues the grays and the blacks because um, I'm much more of a warmer toned person but I will happily take on that challenge and I always tend to think like, will my mom buy this palette and if she did or if she got it, would she like it? Are there colors that she can use? And um, consistently because this is more of a neutral line and has been and was marketed that way since the beginning, um, pretty much every time I pick up one of these palettes, I'm like, yeah, my mom could use this palette. So the first thing I did was show her this when, when, I, um, when I opened it up and looked at all the colors and she was like, that's so pretty. And I was like, yeah, I figured you would like this one a lot. So. That's kind of my little test of like workability because my mom, I mean, she likes using different quality or different products and stuff and she uses all the quality brands. She just is a little bit more neutral in terms of what she's looking for in her eye looks. So I'm now going in with Keeper, which is like kind of a yellowy tone. Oh yeah, it's like actually super gold when you get it on the eye. But I'm just gonna do this kind of into my inner corner and blend that in from my outer corner into my inner corner. All right, so pretty really, uh, 
pretty subdued eye look right now, but very fall. Um, there's a lot of like those nice kind of crisp autumn tones in there, which I'm a big fan of. So I'm now going to go by with Flyby, which is a pretty much, uh, not quite white. I'd call it like a cream white, but it is a very light shade that I think will be good for blending. And we're just going to kind of do it and blend in the colors up to my brow bone and do the same thing on the other side. And I will say I, when I did my highlight, I did put a little bit of highlight on my, um, lower brow line as well. So, uh, the, my brow bone has a little bit of highlight already. But I do like to take those neutral blending shades and just kind of blend some of the harsh color in so there isn't like a super harsh line. And I think that one actually did a really nice job of doing that for me. So I'm a big fan of that. Now I'm going to go on to my lower lash line with the color Sting, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It is a, what I would call like a mauve brown. It's mainly brown, but there's just like a touch of like a red feel to it. And I'm just going to do that on my lower lash line. And their, their, their colors always seem to do a really good job of like, especially when, I notice it especially when I'm doing my lower lash line, but when you take a very concentrated brush and then you apply it in like a very uh, tight area, they never seem to have a lot of fallout. They never seem to bleed a lot and that's huge. There are a lot of really great palettes that I love using that will still bleed a lot and it's kind of a pain to try and um, get in there and make sure that you're getting tight areas without having it do a, like a ton of fallout and I think the Naked line does a really good job of that, and this palette is no different. Um, so now I'm going in with Sweet, which is about the second um, lightest shade that they have. It's right next to that white flyby. And I'm just going to do that under the dark color that we did on the lower lash line to try and blend that in. All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. There's a little bit of fallout on the palette, but not a ton. Um, so the next thing would be we're going to go in, we're going to do a quick cut crease, and we're going to put one of the... Um, five really pretty shimmer shades in there. I'm pretty sure we're going to go with honey because it is the most yellow and I would really like to test that. Um, so I'm going to do my concealer on my eyelid really quick and then we'll come back and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the concealer and it's, uh, doing pretty well. It's still a little wet, so I'm trying to let it dry down just a little bit. And while it's doing that, I'm going to just blend it in a little bit. And I did go ahead and make the executive decision between me, myself, and I that I'm going to use the Honey shade, which is the really, really, really yellow glitter shade that is included in the palette. Because I really, if you want my opinion, they always include one or two colors in these palettes that are like the eye catchers. And I would say this one and Golden, which is the one, the glitter shade right next to it, are probably the eye catchers for this palette. Um, they pretty consistently put those in the dead center so that you notice them first. Um, I think it's a really good strategy in terms of their packaging. But um, I would say it's definitely like the Mac Daddy of the palette, if you will. And it's really pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I actually love yellow shades, which is funny because like in terms of like my favorite colors, the colors I would gravitate towards into clothing and stuff like that. I normally go for blacks and blues and things like that. About the only color that I like to wear on my body and also wear on my eyes is purple. Um, but on my eyes, pretty consistently, I'm going for the oranges, the reds, the yellows, the warmer colors, and that's just, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I don't, I mean, I like having like a couple pieces that are yellow and stuff, but I just don't normally buy like yellow clothing but that's gorgeous that's absolutely I'm absolutely in love with that it packed on really nicely um there's a little bit of patchiness to it but I mean it is a glitter pigment and that is going to happen um I can just tell like a really up close where it's applied a little bit patchily but like I feel like from afar you're not going to see that um so just to kind of um give it a little bit more definition I'm going to go back in with drip and just put a little bit more of the dark brown in that area off to the side and then I'm going to make the other my match and we're going to do some mascara and we're going to call that a day because I'm a big fan of this palette and I don't want to do anything too crazy to mess up what I've done so far. Um, like eyeliner. That was a direct thing about eyeliner because it would make, I'm sure it would make the eye look look gorgeous, but I'm not about to do that today. So, all right. So that's what that's looking like. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of mascara on and then we can see how the final product looks. Um, overall, just having used it once the initial response highly would recommend it definitely gonna make it to my fall favorites list I think there's a lot of really pretty fall colors to work with here um, the palette I believe is 50 
54, but it's either 54 or 49. 54 is what the other Naked palettes are, but if I recall, for some reason, some of their newer line has been 49 rather than 54, so I don't know. Anyway, it is a $50 palette, roughly around $50 range. Um, that is steep, I'm sure, for a lot of people. It was very steep for me when I was first starting to get into makeup, and then when I started biting the bullet and just buying more and more, I'd be excited if I got a palette on sale, but $50 is pretty much average. Um, so that's about average, but it is well worthwhile. The whole Naked line is just gorgeous. Um, and if you like yellows, if you like those kind of warm brown colors, uh, warm brown, brown's always warm, but the fall like autumn feel to it, then I think you're going to really, really like this palette. All right, so that's the final eye look. It is very gold. It is very uh, fall and I'm absolutely a fan of it. Um, like I said, I'm highly recommending this palette. Like, <laughs> I am violet. I Let's try that again. I am biased, and I know that I'm biased towards this collection because of sentimental values, but I think I'm so sentimental about it because I really think it's one of the most quality lines out there. Um, I really like Urban Decay as a, as a brand, and I really like this particular collection that they carry, um, which is why I'm always one of the first ones to pick up the palettes when they release them. So if you are looking for a solid fall palette, I would definitely say this is the one that you're going to want to get. Um, I've got a couple other ones coming that maybe will beat it out, but I would be very shocked. Um, I really like this yellow color. I'm really interested to try the golden and the amber color, which are the other two shimmers that stick out to me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I talked a lot because there was a lot to say on this subject for some reason, even though it was a really simple eye look. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you have not subscribed to the page yet, please be sure to do so. We are very close to our 100 subscriber mark. Um, I've purchased a couple other things in the same haul that I did um, buy this palette. I purchased some things to, intending them to go to giveaways, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be one extra thing added to the 100 subscriber giveaway, and the rest is going to go to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Encourage your family and friends to do so as well, because that is coming up very, very quickly. Um, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. You begin celebrating your spooky season to the best of your ability, which I expect a lot from you guys because it's spooky season and we did not come here to, uh, to cop out. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, have a great day. And as always, stay girl.